Hello everyone, this is Michael217, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And in the last episode we defeated the boss of the Cave of Flames, and went to, to the uh, Elemental Sanctuary and got a new s ability with our sword that allows us to split off into two different pieces. And I'll be showing that a little bit later here in order to reach our next area where our next dungeon is, which I'll show you right now on the map. Uh, it is where that green element icon is, so it's the southeastern or western part of the map. So that's where we're, we're going to be heading right away next. Uh, there's not really anything we can do there, but I'm or right, right now until we get a special item. So, but I'm just going to show how to get there first. Just to get it out of the way. Um, so we have these panels here, and last time we got this ability where we can split off into two links. Of course, one of them is hologram, so he's not quite as... Uh, like, he can't walk through walls, so that's basically it. I did more explaining this in the last episode, so if you want a more in-depth explanation, I would suggest you watch the last episode. How about that? And we have a bundle of wall right here. We also have these uh, blue Octoroks. I don't think there's anything special about the blue Octoroks. They're just kind of weird. They only sh I think they only show up in this area in the game. Yeah, there's a lot of keys here. I'm guessing this is going to be a kinstone. Yep. Red kinstone piece. And we have some moblins here too in this grassy area. This is a very grassy area. And you'll be finding a lot of different collectibles here. Like kinstone, like green kinstones and uh, mysterious shells. We have a open tree here, and this strange dude just talked to him. Hello, I am Percy. I forgot about this guy. Uh, I don't remember what he does, <laughs> so we might have to come back to him later. No, he may drop. Okay, so he's talking about a kinstone they dropped in the inn. So I can see if I can find that. He's talking about an inn in the uh, town, but I don't think he's really all that important right now, so I'll try to remember to get back to him later if we find that kinstone that he's talking about. Let's just continue on here. Yeah, so I guess you can call this the grasslands of uh, Hyrule, and apparently it also has a strange feeling. What is the strange feeling? Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, it looks like Vradi has corrupted the king. And I believe this does change things up in Hyrule Castle Garden. I think I'm actually going to check it out next. Because um, I need to f I, I need to show a few little things in this episode. This is n There's not going to be a whole lot of progress made in this episode, sorry to say. But there are some things worth showing off. M mainly in Castle Town and in the Castle Garden. So, maybe we can get that heart piece too, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check that out now. Uh, these enemies right here, these guys with the spears, if they hit you, they'll take away a bunch of rupees. So, watch out for that. Just have these birds who are always annoying in the Zelda games. You see them all the time. And you can make a nice shortcut here by pushing this rock into the hole. That will allow us to get to this part of the field from South Hyrule Field a lot quicker. Actually, you know what? I want to go over here really quick. There's a fairy fountain that I don't think I've unlocked. Have I? I don't know why I'm going. Yeah, okay. Let's go get this really quick just to get it out of the way. I'm not going to go in there. I'm just going to bomb it. That's a fairy fountain, if memory serves correct. 
So let's just move on and just go up this way. Yes, it's blue Octorox and across this bridge. This will take us to our next area, which will eventually lead to the next dungeon, Caster Winds. Or Wilds. My bad. And so this is pretty much a swamp area. This is the this is your standard swamp swamp area. And well then again, it's I mean, I'm trying to think of Zelda games that. I mean, I know that uh, uh, Majora's Mask has a swamp in it. I, like at first, I was thinking that most Zelda games have swamps in them, but really they don't. Uh, Link to the Past has one. I don't think I, Ocarina of Time doesn't really have one. Uh, Wind Waker doesn't seem to have one. So yeah, you don't see swamp areas that much in Zelda games, really. Now that I think about it, at first I was. Yeah, I was about to say, oh yeah, this is your generic Zelda swamp area, as if there's tons of them, but, but there really aren't that many of them. But, um, oh, shoot, I should have really shown why we can't do anything there, that would be nice. Hold on, let me get back in there really quick. Um, the reason why we can't do anything here is because we cannot get across this murky swamp water. We need to be able to move quickly to get across there, so we need a special item that uh, will allow us to get across there, that allows us to move quickly. And if you pl played past Zelda games, especially the 2D ones, you, pr you could probably guess what that is, I'm not going to say it, but if you can guess, then go ahead. Or of course, if you've played this game, then you're obviously going to know <laughs> what, what item is, but anyway. I'm not going to be going for that right away, I want to unlock a few things in Hyrule Castle Town. And you know, just unlock this, push that rock into there, it makes getting to that a little easier. Because now they have the cane of Packy, there are a lot of things that we can actually do here. Uh, we'll be able to actually shrink in here if we can find the right um, item or object. This dog we can't get past, he won't get past it. He won't let us through. So we can't do much about him yet. Um where does the inn at? I'm thinking of that inn that dude was talking about earlier. This is kind of just kind of a mess around episode. I mean, I'm getting stuff done. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get stuff done, but at the same time, you know, this is kind of just, you know, uncovering more things in the town and showing it more. This guy I'm confused with. So, um, well, we don't have the correct kinstone, unfortunately. So, we'll have to come back to him later. I believe this is the inn. Why is that chest open? That's pretty strange, okay. We have an open chest in there. This is strange. What's with, I thought those chests were supposed to be closed. I guess not. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna mess around here too much. Okay, I wanna show off the objects that I wanna show off. Uh, this pot over here. Uh, this is the key to what makes the Kanapaki important for accessing more things in Hyrule Castle Town. If you use the Kanapaki on one of these, it will flip it over and does that look familiar? Yes, we can actually shrink on these. Remember you find these big pots in buildings that uh, you can flip them over the Kanapaki and shrink with them. And that is how you shrink in the Castle Town. So we'll be able to explore a lot of the town. Not, I mean, we can't go through the whole thing, but we can explore a pretty decent chunk of it right here in Minish Size. And I'm actually going to get to the western part of it. Um, floor like this, you see how it's a little bit darker here. I can't get across this, the darker soil. I, I can get across here. Something I didn't actually... It took me a long time to realize that when I was originally playing this game is you can actually walk across that. This bird, I don't know if he does anything. Oh, he can fuse with them, that's pretty much it. Um, talking about the great fairy in the mountain that we've already met, so yeah, that's all he tells us about. But we can fuse with them. Nope, just kidding. A lot of people that I've been trying to fuse with have apparently needed uh, that pointy kinstone piece. And, um,. Something interesting about being miniature-sized, as you saw right there, is you can actually talk to animals <laughs> in it, so that dog we just saw earlier that was blocking the way, we can actually talk to him now. 
don't know exactly <laughs> why we can talk to animals now that we're miniature size. I guess because I guess because we talk in a high pitched voice, and you know how like with the uh, you know with dogs, maybe you blow those high pitched whistles that you can't actually hear as humans, but they can and drive them crazy. Maybe that's why the animals can hear us. I just thought about that now. Oh, we can fuse with him. That's cool. This is just gonna lead to Rupee, so according to his um, speech bubble. And uh, oh, okay. Another thing that's interesting to point out about Kinstones actually is, um, which makes it pretty hard to uh, use walkthroughs for this, is that uh, it's randomized uh, based on which character there's Kinstone fusion, like what reward it'll lead to. That dog led to that chest bath that leads to rupees. In a different file that I played on this game, the King of Hyrule actually made that chest appear that we just made the dog make appear. Now, um... Did, is he gonna move our way? He, yeah, okay, there he goes. Now he's gonna move our, our way. We can get down here now, get across that staircase now that we're... now that he's moving out of the way. Um, here's not important. There are some... Like, you'll find in just about every building, you'll find, uh, little holes in the wall like this. And you'll find a couple of them, too. You can just find these useless miniatures. You can fuse with, um, okay, let's do this really quick. Just to get these out of the way. And that makes a golden rope appear. I believe that's, okay, it's eastern, southeastern part of Hyrule, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna mess around too much. I don't think there's, actually, that's the exit right there. Yeah, that's the exit. Do these guys look familiar? Only that guy isn't tilting his head back. You know how in Ocarina of Time we see always tilt his head back. Okay, let's do this. Because I believe, you know, we might get something important from this, I don't know. Of course, you never know. It could be something extremely important or something really stupid. This actually looks like it's going to be important. Oh, it makes a hole in the ground, probably. Yeah, pr <laughs> that'll probably lead to more kinstone pieces now that I think about it. Usually, whenever you make those holes appear, you just fall down, find like a minish house, and then there'll be a chest with the kinstone piece in it. Alright, so I've shown you a little bit of uh, how we can get around Hyrule Town as a, as a minish, so that was pretty much my goal of this episode, so um, I'll finish it off by seeing what's going on in Hy Hyrule uh, Castle Garden up north and see what the king has instructed his guards to do after he's gotten corrupted by Vadi. And hopefully we can get to that heart piece, because I believe, let me check, uh, no, we're two heart pieces away. Wow, I didn't realize we t were two away. I felt like we were closer than that. Either way. Because I feel like we're getting a lot of heart pieces. Okay, so this, yeah, see, the guy who's originally locking this isn't there now. So, we can now go down here and get the heart piece. And yeah, most of these are just easy grabs. Like I said, most heart pieces in this game are just gotten by Kinston fees, and they don't really take much of a challenge to get to them, like other Zelda games, mostly the 3D ones. You have to go through more of a challenge to get through them. But yeah, right here, these guys are just kind of guarding the way, and we can't do much else here except for to get that Kinstone. Actually, no, I lied. There's, I think there is something over here east that we can check out. Trying to find it. Yeah, right over here is a ladder leading down. But can we come here yet? This is another one of those. Yeah, we can't quite uh, do this yet because this is another one of those uh, swift blade teachers are just you know sword sword teachers. But he says that his room is too dark for us to train, so. We're eventually going to have to light this up somehow. Not sure how, but we'll find out a little bit later. We do have a heart piece here that we can grab. We don't need to light up the room for that. And this will actually complete our new heart container. So two quick heart pieces. 
grabbed near the end of this episode. And I guess I shall actually end the episode now that I've said that, so next time on Let's Play The Legends of the Minish Cap, we will actually uh, work towards getting the item that we need to explore the Caster Wilds and get to our next dungeon. And yeah, that's what we're going to do next time. This is Mike127, signing out.